Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be doing the ink drop effect in Blender, as you can see in the example here. So the first thing we need to do is change it from the 3D view to the node editor. And then let's just choose scene, use nodes and backdrop. So we're going to need an image sequence. If you've not already got one, uh, you can click the video there and I'll show you how to make one. Or you can click the link in the description and uh, you can download one, that, well, the one I'm using. Okay, so let's just uh, click auto refresh, connect these up. Um, control, shift, click to add a viewer node. And let's scrub through here. So we can see we've got a low resolution smoke asset, which is going to be perfect for this. We need to end frame 220. Okay, let's just tidy things up a little bit so we can see things better. Okay, so we need to shift A, add a colour and then mix, plug them in. Okay, so you get something looking like this. Now let's add a shift, shift A, input. Now you can use a movie clip or an image sequence or an image. I'm just going to use an image and it will need to be black and white. If it's like what I've got here, which is an alpha background, you need to just add in the white to the background. So that's very easy to do. Just going to add a colour, mix. Again, if you've already got a black and white image, then you don't need to do this. Just change this over, click the checkered box, and there we go. So let's move this over and plug this in. And we're going to plug this into the factor so it looks like this. So the smoke is now acting as a mask. And when the smoke appear, um, goes over the text, the text will appear. So we just need to add in a distort and scale because the smoke asset we made was very small. So let's change that to render size. And again, if you're using the same smoke, you will need to um, change it depending on where your text is or the image that you want to show. So let's just move these other way. Shift A, distort, and we want to translate. So now if we move on the y-axis, it will move it up for us. And just put it in position where you want it. And if we scrub through, we can see that it, yeah, it works how we want it to. Or in this example, it works how I want it to. <laughs> so let's just move the things out of the way. I'm going to shift A, color, alpha over, plug this in. And this is where we're going to add in the background. So we can just copy this, uh, this image here, I'm just going to add a new one. We also want a, a distort scale. Okay, so let's plug this in. Now make sure we add the scale node, change that to render size. Okay, so if we just uh, convert pre-multiply, and if you still don't see anything, what we need to do is just change these nodes around, these inputs around, and there you go. So in the if you want to get um, the ink drop effect, we'll have to do a few little different things. In the last tutorial, I just said you know press the color picker and then pick the color of your background, and it does an okay job, but it's not perfect. So we can add a few more steps and make it look a lot better. So let's just tidy this up. What we can do is just take a feed from this and plug it straight into the bottom um, of the mix, and then yeah, it looks it just blends in perfectly. So we take it off, and you sh you should see the difference. I'll plug it back in. Okay, so that effect is kind of like a, um, the writing will just appear on the page, um, kind of like in the Harry Potter film where the writing appears in the book. If anyone's seen that, so. That's that effect. If you want to take it further and make it look like the ink drop effect, we just need to add one more node. So um, if you see, forget, don't worry about all these other nodes. That's just to, um, I added to make it look a little better. So if you see the mix where you added the mix, um, just isolate that. And the alpha over between them two, if you just add in an RGB curves, so go to color, RGB curves, plug that in. So let's have a look what it's doing. We just isolate this one. And all we need to do is just drag it down a little bit on the colour and make it a bit darker. So just press M to mute and I'll show you the difference before it. And now this is with the RGB curves. 
So you're just going to make it a little bit darker or change the color a little bit, depending on you know the scene that you're using. But yeah, I hope this is uh, this tutorial's helped, and if it did, make sure you give it a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos.